When you think about being happy, often you think about things you want. But the way spirituality works is actually kind of the opposite. It's not so much about what you want, but what you need. Like the Rolling Stones song, I guess. Hmm. To get what you want out of life, you really have to get what you need. And to get what you need, you have to head towards what you don't want. Wait a second, that is totally confusing. The reason why is think of it like a teeter-totter when you're a kid. And in order to play, you have to have the balance. So if you're too far this way, you're stuck. Nothing happens. You can't go anywhere. You have to go more this direction in order to find the balance and the back and forth. The same is true for the south node and the north node. In your chart, you're going to find that the south node and north node are always 180 degrees apart. That means they're opposite signs. So it would be like a Pisces Virgo, it would be like a Taurus Scorpio. You get the picture. See, what we don't even realize, probably until we're at least in our 30s, hopefully, and not living in our parents' basement, is that we all have different realities that we live in. What we think is the only way is actually just one of many ways. But we don't realize it because we are stuck in our ways. One of my friends is a psychologist and her most two hated words in the English vocabulary are comfort zone. That is exactly what a south node in your chart is. It's your comfort zone. When you're young, you don't even realize it. Maybe your parents and family even encourage you. They say, wow, you're so good at that. That's amazing. Congratulations. Not realizing that what you're actually good at is your own downfall. It is going to be this brick that is chained to your ankle that you're going to be dragging around with you. And until you just let it go, you're going to find that things just, they just don't work out right. You might accomplish what you're after, but for some reason, it just never feels good. You never feel accomplished. And the reason why is because for multiple lifetimes, over and over and over, you've been doing the same thing. You have been living in a comfort zone. The more and more you stay in that comfort zone, the darker it gets. <sighs> so, get out now. Get out as soon as you can. If you're 21 years old and watching this, congratulations, I wish I were you. But some people never realize it. And that's why you'll find that if there's a person that's happy, they have realized their north node and they're starting to head towards it. If there's a person who's miserable and they're 70 years old, it's because they're still stuck in their south node. Ew. So you know the astrology globe? It's a picture of a globe and it has this arrow through it. Well, that globe is called an astrolabe. The arrow is pointing towards the north node and the south node is the direction you want to go away from. Okay. It's also referred to as the dragon's head and dragon's tail. The dragon's head, of course, is where you want to head. The dragon's tail, not where you want to go. Does this mean you have to abandon all of these things you're good at? I mean, you work lifetimes to achieve all this stuff. Do you really just have to let go everything you've learned? No, of course not. But it's best if you use those things to mentor other people. Teach other people what you know and let them be the star of that show for this life. Because you have a whole different role to play. And life isn't about doing what you're good at. Life is about figuring out what you're not good at. The North Node and South Node are also referred to as Karma and Dharma. So here you have the North Node. Hello! North Node is Dharma. And over here you have the South Node, your past. This is Karma. When people say Karma is going to catch up to you, that's what we're talking about here. It's to say that everything that you've done in a past life is catching up to you now. Yeah, some is good. Yeah, some is bad. But everything that has been rehashed over and over and over too many times, it's becoming a broken record. That's your south node. All right, so now like a magical page, I'm going to snap my fingers and we're going to go into your magical north node and south node. Here we go. Aquarius north node, Leo south node. So while this isn't when the North Node is in its fall, I feel like this is probably the most difficult North Node to have. So congratulations, you got the doozy of the bench. Yeah, my dog, he's eating a bone. Okay, so in a past life, you guys were VIPs. You were pretty much famous. The whole world revolved around you and you were kings and queens of your own universe. Often there was some misuse of power. You didn't treat people very well. And that is why, karmically speaking, this is such a difficult placement to have as a North Node because there's a lot of explaining to do. This is your time to give back. You are here to use your leadership skills, but not for yourself, 
for the good of the world. Hopefully, instead of becoming the Elvis Presley, you guys become the Einstein. This is your mission, should you choose to accept it. Yikes. As a Leo South node, you guys believe in hierarchy and status. You believe in luxury. You want to have the best of everything. And you are the elite. And everyone else is there to serve you, including family and parents and boyfriends and girlfriends and pretty much anyone that comes into your life. And they should be happy to serve you because, I mean, not everyone gets to be that close to the fire, if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, you're kind of taking the luxury to the extreme. You do have a natural stage presence that attracts people, almost like a cult-like personality. I mean, you could really get anyone to do anything you wanted, and that's why this power is so tricky to let go of, because you've been all about yourself and very self-focused, and you have found ways to get people to do things for you, and now I'm basically saying, let go of that. I know, sucks, right? Okay, so a Leo south node. Now, Leo is the center. Leo is magnetic. Leo is the sun. Everything shines from Leo and radiates onto others, and um, everything moves around the sun, hence the self-centeredness. With a south node, you have taken the Leo traits to the extreme. So yes, there are lots of positive Leo traits, but the reason you have it as a south node is because for multiple lifetimes, these have just gotten out of control. So now you need to head towards Aquarius. And Aquarius is the commoner. They are a leadership position, and yet they are there to serve others. They are the humanitarian. Everything that they do is for the good of others, or that's what they try to do, at least. Often a Leo South Node, if they're unaware of their karmic baggage, they will try to do everything that they can to attract attention to themselves. So this will be ranting on Facebook, this will be um, creating drama, this will be making up stories when necessary in order to get the whole party centered around you, telling jokes about how you're hanging out with your famous friends and name dropping. Yeah, a lot of the stories are actually true because a Leo South Node is a very charming person. They have that cult-like personality that everyone wants to be around. But they also have the ability, because Leo is all about drama and flair, they can just make up whatever they need to make up to um, grab a hold of all of the attention in the room. They also have a lot of sex appeal because they have that magnetism. It draws people in. But a Leo South Node craves having that undying love, that eternal romance and passion. And while they do have a lot of passion, it doesn't sustain because they are so self-focused. So part of getting what you really want in life, which is that soulmate and that true love is going to be for you to let go of your self-centered ways <laughs> and to focus on others and by doing this it's going to attract a soulmate to you so let's do this let go of being driven by vanity and appearances and fame let go of your temper it doesn't serve you anymore piece by piece chip away at that massive ego that you've built up <laughs> find equality in the world and within yourself towards others even if you are famous even if life lets you be famous in this lifetime it will not make you happy. In this life, anytime you focus on yourself, it will make you feel like you're getting further from your goal. What you really want is to really connect to people. And so instead of focusing on lovers and passion, focus on friendship and facts, causes, bettering the world. Pretty tricky, huh? That's kind of why I said this is the hardest North Node to have. Take your cult-like personality and become an ambassador for a cause that you believe in. Call up a friend and instead of having to talk about yourself, just listen. Practice listening to others, putting the center of attention onto them. By detaching like this, the world will suddenly become way more interesting to you. It will be like a whole new world opened up and you realize that everyone isn't obsessed with fame. There's a lot of different layers to things. Everything is not either the end of the world or all about you. When you focus on being a part of a community and learning that humility, you will find a peace and serenity from seeing everyone as equals. It's kind of like when you're a little kid and you go to the top of a cliff or a mountain or a beach or some place that's beautiful and you just feel so small and yet it doesn't make you feel bad. It actually makes you feel wonderful. So you guys have a lot of pressure on yourselves because you see yourself as the center. But by letting go of that center and seeing something more beautiful outside of yourself, it really gives you a peace of mind. You can just kind of let go. Hang around people that are not clinging to your every word and don't want to just 
be one of your followers. But somebody who is like an Aquarius, they walk to the beat of their own drum. They're unique, they're weird, they're strange and out there. That's the kind of person where they can really teach you a lot because something is driving them. It's a mystery at this point, but try to delve into what exactly is driving them. What makes them tick? Think about the greater good. Get in touch with your spirituality. Astrology is a good step for sure because you're learning about other people and all of these different sign placements. Learn about psychology and metaphysics and science and put your intellect to the test. Learn and grow as a person. Help other people to find their limelight. If there's somebody that you believe in, you think is really talented, encourage them, promote them instead of yourself. You'll find a lot of cathartic healing from this because your karma needs to get into balance on that level. You need to take the spotlight away from yourself and shine it onto somebody else. No more tantrums, okay? <laughs> We know that you guys have intense feelings and you're very passionate. If you guys want to grow as a person and be happy, then when you focus on facts and rational thought and learning and other people versus yourself, you'll feel growth. You'll feel expansion and the universe wants to expand and you're part of that universe. You guys are born stars and leaders and that's never going to go away. But use your star power to become one with the universe, to get into sync and into touch with everything around you. That isolation that you're feeling has to do with you putting yourself on a pedestal. And the more alone you are up there and the longer you sit up there alone, the more angry and upset you're going to be. And the more you won't be able to connect with other people and you won't know why. You won't have that amazing romance and you won't have those friends that are just so loyal to you because you have distanced yourself from everyone and everything through your status and the way that you see yourself and your ego. And if you let go of that and be one with everyone else, come off the throne and walk among the people, <laughs> life will be just so much more full. It is time for you guys to give back. Silence yourself and connect to the universe. I know it's a tall order, but you're here to help others and the world shine. Whew, that was a doozy. I told you, it's a rough one. Good luck to all of you Leo South Nodes. Please tell me about your journey. I would love to hear about it because we all love to hear about your guys' lives. See you guys next time for North Node Pisces, South Node Virgo.